Say it loud. I'm black, I'm deaf, and I'm proud. Say it loud. I'm black, I'm deaf, and I'm proud. Oh, whoop. Say it louder. I'm black, I'm deaf, and I'm proud. Say it louder. Say it louder. I'm black, deaf, and proud. Y'all, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Deaf Woke. I am Antoine Hunter also known as Purple Fire Crow. I am so happy to be here with you today, or February, Black History Month. I'm black and it's all good. But really, black history is every day. It's all year round. And my goal is to celebrate different individuals. Uh, but before we start, I'll provide a visual description. I have an ebony uh, color uh, locks. My hair is pulled back. It's almost three feet long. I have a bushy beard. I have dark chocolate Milk chocolate, got it from my mama, my skin. I have a black shirt on with yellow embroidery. It says deaf, hashtag deaf woke. I'm here by, uh, it, alone, solo, with a blue background on. Uh, here in Oakland, representing the black Panthers. I'm really excited for today. Today, February 12th, uh, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. I hope you and a special person do have something fun to do, but if you don't have anything, if you don't have a person to celebrate, well, you got You can you can celebrate with yourself. You can love yourself. You could go out and you know have some fun activities or just chill. Uh, you know, today you can love yourself. You don't have to do anything expensive. You know, it's something that's cost free, self love. Now, before I start, I would like to introduce two of our beautiful interpreters. What's up? This is Interpreter J. And this is Kaylee. You guys are an awesome. I want to thank you guys so much for working with us today. I'm excited, y'all. I want to read my guest bio. This beautiful person. Incredible to be here with us on February 12th. Discussing life as a deaf person. Our guest is deaf, but does not allow that barrier to stop them from achieving, working hard, having a family. Our guest wanted 
to add more deaf representation. So our guest, Ms. Kiana Tate. From Michigan. She's an author of a book. The, she's the author of of Signing with Kai. Now, I don't want to get too much into me explaining the book. I want to allow uh, Kiana to talk about her book uh, and, and how she's developing ways to knock down barriers. So I, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and cut me short and, and bring on Miss Kiana. Come on, dance a little bit with me, Kiana. Dance for a little bit. Welcome to Deaf Woke. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. From my understanding, you were born in Michigan. What does Michigan look like? Yeah, hi. So I'm Kiana. This is my sign name. Um, like you were saying, I'm from Michigan. Um, I'm in the 12th grade, and I go to Michigan School for the Deaf. Before, um, I went to um, a school, the Detroit School for the Deaf, um, in elementary school. Um, I went to Bush, and then I um, transferred um, to the school for the deaf and blind. And then I stayed in that school for a while. That was a mainstream school. And then I went to MSD, the Michigan school for the deaf, and I'm going to graduate soon. Oh, you're a senior. Wow. So after your senior year, what are you going to do? You going to college? Mm hmm Yeah, I wanted to go to a college um, called Henry Ford. That's in Detroit. Um, so that's kind of close by. I remember that you uh, mentioned that, uh, you know, the, the school that you were thinking about was kind of far, but you wanted to stay local, stay home. Yeah. Uh, you know, family's important, yeah? Yeah. In our uh, pre-meeting, you had said you had uh, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a sister, um, another uh, brother, Melange. Uh, we call him MJ. Uh, and then this is, they're signing because they're shy. Um, and they're learning sign language, both of them. You're teaching your family signs? So hopefully they, you know, they're looking up to you. You don't just teach your siblings, but right, you're teaching the, around the world and, and using your book to do so. You know, how, how, are, how did that come about? Yeah, I met one of my cousin's friends. Um, and I realized that you know, there wasn't a lot out there for us. So we got together, my cousin and their friend, and we got together in January and wrote this book and, you know, had it distributed. And this is what it looks like. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Who are the people in the book? So inside the book, it's uh, my sister, my brother, my cousin, um, my cousin's friend. I wanted it to be, you know, people who are important to me to help the hearing community learn ASL, people who had no idea um, about the deaf community. Do you see that there's other repre uh, ASL book representation? 
and you know we didn't you didn't get the opportunity of seeing as much asl in books right you never see black people in the asl books you know there's no representation in them and that's why you know when we thought of this book we really wanted to show black and brown people because you know we we don't we're so underrepresented so that's why we got together and decided to make this book because it's always, you know, the ABC book, which is all of white representation. And so that's why we wanted to make this one. When you published your book, you know, what, what were the reactions? Did, you know, did you get uh, positive support or kind of disdain? Yeah, like my sister couldn't believe it. Um, I had a Fox News interview, um, really some other uh, interviews that really highlighted the book. It was a really great experience. How long did it take to, uh, to create the book? Was it simple, one day? Uh, well, a couple of weeks turned into about a month or so. It definitely wasn't, you know, overnight. It took hard work. And, you know, capturing all the photographs and typing it up. I had uh, Amber help me. And so that was helpful. I know you have uh, various individuals taking, you know, family members. Did you have a photographer or did you take those photos of yourself? So the one of myself, my mom took. Oh, can you can you see me? Uh, go again. So my mom took uh, the photos of me and my brother. And there was some photos of my cousin, um, but she lives in another state. So I had to ask somebody to take a photo of her. Uh, so they were happy to do that. And so it was a couple people piecing together the different photographs. Yeah, so it was a family team collaboration. Yeah. I love that. You know, a, a book made with family love. You know, where can we find your book? Oh, sorry. Can, I, can you say that again? What was the question? Yeah, where can we buy your book? Oh, uh, you can get it on Amazon or um, um, you can order it in person. So either one. Yeah, you know, I need to go buy one. <laughs> it is a beautiful <laughs> book. Oh my goodness. Ha 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 look, look what I got. Uh you probably didn't know I already had one. No, I didn't know. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks for supporting me. Yes. No, thank you for creating this book. It's it's one of the most beautiful books uh, I, I have read. It, it really just touched me. It's just beautiful to see black and brown people signing. It's important that we have that representation of our language, yeah? Mm-hmm. Do you plan on making more books in the future? Oh yeah, definitely. Of course, I wanna make more books. Um, one of colors, one of numbers, um, and one with different, you know, stories of me growing up and my family. Well, when should we expect that? Ooh, I don't know, I can't give a date to it, but okay. soon. Okay, I love your shirt. Unapologetic. Who made your shirt? Oh, my, my cousin made it for me. Yeah, they make um, t-shirts, and so they made this one for me. Did he make, is that the only one he made? Or your cousin made? No, they made shirts. They make all different sort of, um, all different kind of graphic apparel. Basically, I can just show them a photo of something and I ask them, can they, can you make it? And they can. 
Does your cousin uh, have a business set up? Where can people buy the buy different T-shirts? Oh, oh you honestly, forgot. <laughs> I don't remember. We'll follow you. Don't worry. Oh, Anton, you froze. Could you say it again? You froze. Can you see me now? Okay, yeah, I see you now. That's better. What do you plan to do or, or become after uh, after you graduate? A college. Sorry, um, I actually got <laughs> interrupted to say it wasn't my cousin who made this shirt. I was wrong. I was mistaken. It's um, a deaf woman actually who makes these shirts. So it wasn't my cousin. My bad. My bad. Oh, this. Yeah, yeah this is her name sign. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know them. Yeah. Yeah, you can um, get, contact her online um, and get orders made. And her name is... Um, oh, what's your mom's name? Oh, well, my mom's name is Khadija. So your sign name is right at the cheek. Your mom's name is right at the eye. Why is your sign name? Uh, because I'm happy, you know, so like the smile. What makes you happy? Uh, family jokes, you know, just people teasing me. So it's, I'm always laughing all of the time. Yeah, family can be funny sometimes. <laughs> you know, where, where do you hope to travel in the world? Maybe London, UK, where would you like to travel? I really want to go to Paris. Paris? Yeah, I do. Why Paris? Well, you know, you just see like the architecture and the museums and it just looks so beautiful. I, just the culture oh. looks really beautiful. I want to go. Oh, so culture is important to you. Clearly, it's represent, represented in your book. And that's exactly what your book shows. We'll have another book entitled Sign with K, Part 2. Yeah, I think the other one will be about colors. Um, the cover will probably be a pink cover. So I'm excited for that. Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. And I, I love me some animals. Sharks, horses. Yeah, I hope you make one with animals. Oh, you don't like sharks? What? No. <laughs> sharks are cool. But you do love animals, though, yeah? Yeah. What, yeah. Which I animals do. do you love? I love cats and dogs, uh, horses, too. Okay, I, I like that. So let's, you know, let's go back. How's school going? We all got, we have uh, straight A's? <laughs> is it? Uh... I know uh, school isn't the easiest. Are we going to be opening a bookstore? Oh, could, could you say that again? Yeah, you're going to be opening a bookstore after college? <laughs> no. I think uh, I might want to open up a deaf restaurant, though. You know, I like publishing the books and making the books, but I don't think I want to make that a career. Who do you look up to, you know, your role models? Uh, definitely my mom. Uh, Saini, Carol, um, you know, Khadija, my mom, you know, she has just helped me so much to grow into an independent person. She's just taught me so much and encouraged me all along the way. 
you know, so I am the person that I am because of her. Um, Carol, she's taught me a lot um, of how to really become successful to, you know, run businesses and things like that. And then um, uh, my godmom, Sadie, she's just so funny and such a good, like, performer. And she's deaf. And just really supportive of everything that I do. Yeah, you've named some beautiful people. Now, you mentioned some people who have influenced you to become courageous. Yep. And I'll, oh, sorry. I'm freezing a little bit. Let me back up a little bit. My godmom, um, Sini, so... She also went to the School for the Deaf and graduated from Michigan School for the Deaf, too. Wow. So you have some strong, independent people in your life. I know you had mentioned you were naming some people, which gives me an idea. So we're going to play a little game called Name These People. You ready? Okay. Woo! -hoo! Okay, for uh, everyone watching, uh, what I'll do is I'll provide a visual description. And Kiana, you can name if you have the name and know the name of the person. Uh, you can answer it that way, or you know uh, what they do. Maybe an actor, actress, musician. Yeah, you can name ex name who they are or uh, name what they do. This oh, visual description. Um, this is um she was in she does makeup. Um oh, she's wearing silver earrings. She's doing a pose at the camera. And she's Lauren and her last name is Porful? What's her last name? Okay. Yeah, yep. This is uh, Lauren Rodolph. She's uh, deaf, native of Chicago and Illinois, uh, is an American actress known for her roles in the TV series The Walking Dead and the film Internals. Her breakthrough role was a leading performance in the Broadway play Children of a Lesser God. Uh, she's uh, acting, coming from the Model Secondary School for the Deaf in Washington, D.C. Lauren is the first uh, acted in a film, If You Could Hear My Own Tone. Uh, this is Miss Jade Bryant, who, funny enough, is uh, That's who's who designed the T-shirts. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, wait. <laughs> so the visual description, a picture of an African-American male stands in his uh, black hat and a black leather jacket opening to show a white shirt going with a pair of washed stone blue jeans. Who is he? Oh, um, this is Shaleem. Shaheem. Yeah, Shaheem. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm. Mm. Shaheem is deaf, a native of uh, Los Angeles, California, is choreographer, creator, director, and actor. Uh, recently, uh, Shaheem acted in the Oscar-winning Sound of Metal on Hulu. Uh, and another big news is he was a guest on the Ellen Show, or will be in three weeks. Oh, oh, okay. It's a visual description: A picture of African American male appears in his low-cut black hair. He wears a white hoodie jacket with black stripes inside, and a white top. Chris Brown. What? Uh, oh. no, Tyler James Williams. That was close. <laughs> He, they do look the same, yes. Yeah, the eyes. The eyes look kind of similar. Yeah, this is Taylor James Hearing, a native of New York, actor. He's in a. Uh, he's best known for uh, playing uh, in a sitcom, Everybody Hates Chris, in the at the Disney Channel. Uh, Let it shine and on AMC, The Walking Dead. Visual description: A picture of an African American female. Wears a tan head wrap 
on her head with the dark blue lock bangs. She has four lock jewelries uh, on her lock bag and blue eyes, brows with long eyelashes. You think she's hearing or deaf? Okay, so she's deaf. I know she's deaf. Um, and I think I met her at like a camp last year. Uh, it was like an online event. I think her name starts with a with a J. Maybe Jalisa. That's, that's it's close. What do you think she does? It's her profession. She's a mus musician. I forget. She's an actress. Oh, she's a performer. Yeah, she signs and she does like some um, educational things um, and she performs. Oh, yeah, man. Raven. Raven signs. This okay, is her this signing. Is her signing. Yeah, she has a book as well. She's deaf, native of Alabama, uh, is a dancer, ASL performer, and a deaf, a huge deaf advocate. This one's a hard one. This is a picture of an African American male appears in his black curly afro haircut with shaved sides, wears a pair of black framed eyeglasses. Who is he? What what do you think his profession is? Uh in movies? Related mm -hmm. to Is he hearing? Hearing, mm-hmm. I think okay. he's hearing and Do you think he's involved in Matthew? movies? Is that his name, maybe? That's close, close. This is Jeremy Lee Stone. Uh, but he is deaf. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Lives in New York City. He's an American Sign Language instructor, social media platform, uh, platformer, ASL storyteller. And a poet uh, for ASL Slam Poetry on Instagram. A picture of an African American male uh, sits putting his hand on his left cheek and dimples, smiling at the camera. He has a deeply gray, sunny hat with strings, wears a blue shirt with a pair of gray shorts and a black brown <laughs> beaded bracelet. Who is he? I, I don't know who this man is. I think he's deaf. <laughs> Look at him smiling. Giving you a hint. I think the picture doesn't do him justice, but this is uh, Matt Maxey. He has a, a company called Definitely Dope that does ASL. Uh, music he's a performer uh, advocacy uh activ activism uh teaching sign language and context creation um, I, I may uh, introduce you guys oh yes 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 yes. okay okay i know this one there's a picture of an african-american male appears in his olive green cap with a black short afro popping in front a silver pierced nose uh black trimmed mustache who is he i remember him from youtube and mm -hmm. he does some TikToks. Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. doing this move. Um, deaf for sure. Deaf. Yeah, this is yeah. yeah, this is his favorite <laughs> move right here. <laughs> oh, this is uh Harold Fox. Oh, okay, okay. Visual description, a picture of an African-American female appears in her black braided crown hairstyle. She wears a full makeup, a pair of silver earrings, and light blue. She hugs herself, looks at the camera calmly. Who is she? Mm 
Amanda Gordon. Yeah, she's a cool actress. She has poetry, an activist. Uh, last year in 2021, Amanda delivered her poem, The Hill We Climb, at the inauguration of the U.S. President. Oh, Joe yeah, Biden. She, she did a, a poem um, when President Biden was being inaugurated, right? She stood right beside him. Yes, yeah, she was uh, doing her rendition, and uh, she invoked some ASL while she was singing. It was beautiful. I think time is getting close. There's a visual description, a picture of an African-American female appears with a medium, a long, thick, black, curly hair. She wears a long sleeve beige jacket, looking at the camera, smiling happily. I, do you know who she is? Because you may know, I don't know. I remember her from a movie um, called Star on Star. Do you, I don't know if you know it. I think she's hearing, but she does sign. And she she was on a thing that was on the news, but what she did, I, I don't remember. Right. Her name's Gracie Bears. Yep, okay. she's a coda. Her parents are deaf. Yeah, you got that right. Ah, that was that was really good. Yeah, she's in a drama television show called Empire. There's a visual description: a picture of an African American male appears in his black, thick Afro hair. He wears a multicolored shirt. Uh, looks at the camera, smiling happily. Do you think he's an actor or a painter? Which do you think he he does? I'm gonna go with painter. Yep. This is Tyler Gordon. Uh, he likes to identify as deaf and hard of hearing. He's a native of San Jose in California. He has he's Pretty popular and self-taught in painting. Nah, -uh. how? With yeah, several celebrity portraits. I don't. It's same as you. But he's fifteen. Yeah. Yep. He's same as you. This is. We'll do this one. This is the last one. A picture of of a Kenyan Mexican female appears in her black short low cut hair. She wears a white short multi-diamond earring and non-sleeved ivory floral uh, top. She looks at the camera, smiles happily. Oh, she was in Black Panther. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know she was in Black Panther. Um, and I, I, th I think she's hearing. I think she's a coda. Are her parents deaf? Oh, this is Lupita. Last name N Y O N G. Yep, she was in Black Panther. You got it. You won. <laughs> Come on, dance with me. Come on. Woo. Woo. Okay, now I've had my opportunity of interviewing you. So now we're going to give the audience some time to ask some questions. All right, audience. All right, people. Uh, this is time to ask Kiana questions. You can ask your question using the, uh, the comment box.
a question is how long did it take for your for you to finish the book did it take you one year a couple of days Maybe two years. I think that Maybe. was actually more like two months. Okay. Because it took, we started in about November discussions of the book in November with me and my cousin and our friend. Um, and then in December is when we actually started producing it. And then we were finished by January. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, that was quick. You were yeah. serious. You were. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they say um, love your t-shirt. Thanks, Bonnie from Jade Bryan. Comment is, I have your book. Strong. Question is, do you dance? Yeah, I do. I actually love to dance. What sort of genre do you like dancing? How about ballet? No. Um, more like I would say you know like um, like worship dancing. I forgot the name of it but it's like you kind of have like your face paint So it's like mine. Yeah. So I do that and then what is the other one? <laughs> like the Dougie? Oh yeah, I said teach teach me. Teach me how to Dougie. And whipping Nene. <laughs> that one. Question is, what do you want to do when you grow up? Um, I mean, before I wanted to become a teacher, but I definitely changed my mind on that one. Yeah, no, <laughs> not anymore. So I think I want to become a chef. Well, I thought I wanted to become a chef. I changed my mind again when I got a little bit older. But now I think that I want um, to become either like a hairstylist, like, you know, doing locks and stuff, or own my own restaurant. So not the chef, but own the restaurant. Okay, I like that. Maybe design and lights. Like DEI, restaurant, hair, uh, books. Now, let's hope we don't find any hair in some food now. Right. Let's be sanitary. We'll have the hair nets. Yeah, safety first. I, I would go to your restaurant. Again, where can we purchase your books? Um, you can either get them on Amazon, um, and it's called Signing with Kai. Um, yeah, on Amazon. So the title of the book that they can search is Signing with Kai. Yeah, so it's called Mime Praise Dance. Is that what, yes, is, that. Is that what you were yeah. referencing? Mime okay. Praise Dance. So question is beautiful kai you were involved with mime praise dancing uh in your church yeah i yeah i was doing the mime dancing and then the other kind but i forgot the name of it but i do different kind of dances different kind of genres 
what messages do you want to share uh, the young females to become successful? You know, following in your steps. What do you want to tell them? Now, this book that you made, you know, is hard work. Absolutely. Yeah. No, it, it wasn't easy. It took a lot of work and learning how to go about, you know, the process of making it and edit at making edits. Because there's like a business behind it and you know, a lot of different ideas that came together to make it. You know, how can people support? Uh, I think that they can become, um, you know, a member, share, um, things on social media to increase, you know, the support. We got you. And we got not you. just a one-time thing, you know, do it consistently. Right. You know, promoting, you know, reaching out, getting that the message out there. That's right. Exactly. I like that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, you're so you're an incredible leader. All right, time is running out, y'all. So we have any more messages from the people? <laughs> Where did I go? What? what just happened? <laughs> I just disappeared. I'm back. Okay. All right. Here's our last question. Uh, who's your role model? Um, my mom and then my godmom and then um, Carol. Carolyn. That's their full name. Beautiful. Beautiful. Have y'all enjoyed yourself so far? Chat with Kai, Anna. Let's get, let's see those likes. Let's see those hearts. Come on, let's see those clicks. <laughs> I see some coming in. Now, if you all want to follow Kayana, you can follow her on her uh, social media. IG is at i t s s dot k h y. K H Y. Kayana, Kayana. Yo, please go follow, engage, chat with her, and, and of course, go buy her book. Don't look at me. Look at this book. Look at this book. Now, Kai, what's the last thing you want to sh uh, share with the people? What's something important that you want to let them know? What was the question? Yeah, wh what's important you want to let the audience know? What would you like to let them know before uh, before you leave? Well, really, I just want to thank them all for their support, their support of me and my book. You know, the the goal of it was really just to inspire community building and teaching the hearing community how they can sign and converse with us. 
And I'm just really thankful for all the support from the audience, from my mother, and from just everyone around me. Yeah. And thank you, Anton, for having me here today and for letting me interview. Oh, thank you. Thank you for you know bringing your story, creating your book, sharing your experience. I've learned so much from you. Thank you. Guess what? You're the first teenager that I've interviewed. The first one. First black, deaf te woman teenager. Now you got to dance with me. Come on. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you have an amazing rest of the year. Yeah. Well, waved everyone bye. Bye. That's Kayana. Beautiful person, beautiful spirit. Looking at her, a uh, strong and independent spirit. But she, uh, she got her love from her family, that family support, uh, friends as well. You know, family, friends, that support. Ooh. And you could see the light shining and resonating off of her. You know, if you want to make a book, you want to create something, you know, pull in that family. You know, when adults see young people having a dream, having a vision. No, we don't have to wait until become an adult to have that dream. No, start now if you have it. Whether you're deaf, hearing, black, brown. Look at this. This is a beautiful book. I can't show you more than that. I, I can't show you too much. Go and buy her book. Again, you can buy it on Amazon. You know, this is serious because there's not enough representation. You know, we, and she's one of our leaders in the future. Maybe she'll become president. And she did say that, you know, she's going to maybe open up a restaurant, engage in, in, in hairstyling. Uh, but you never know what dreams can come later. But my point is, there's no dream that's too small. All dreams are important. You know, out of three dreams, maybe you have to you have to be solid established on one. No, you can dream, dream big. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, go follow Kiana. Thank you to Kiana. Thank you to the interpreters. Thank you to the audience. Thank you to How Round, Drop Labs, GFTA, and you. Thank you for watching. If you want to donate to uh, keep Deaf Woke going, you can donate at realurbanjazzdancecompany.com. Uh, I, I really enjoyed myself today. Now, it's time to play a little music. Oh, before I go, here's our next episode of Deaf Woke, February 15th. So you come on, you got to be there. We'll have an incredible guest.
Peace. Love. I'm out.